spider cake, spider cake. I really want a spider cake. Do -do 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 -do. Ben's going to show us how to make a great blackberry cheesecake with a swirl in it. I want a spider cake! <laughs> Everybody loves a cheesecake and this one has got a sponge base made with sugar, egg and flour. And then the cheesecake topping is cream cheese, cream, sugar, set with gelatin and it's got our blackberry swirl or blackberry Ooh. spider's web on top. Mm. Okay, so to start with we'll get our sponge underway. So sugar. And egg, if you can crack the egg in. Beautiful. So good at that. It looks like a cooked fried egg, look. Because of the white underneath. If we can just blend that until it's nice and fluffy, you've got to go quite a long time, a good sort of three or four minutes, which mm -hmm. is why it's better to use a machine. You can do it by hand, yep. but it takes quite a while. While Jamie's doing that, yep. I want you to grease our tin. Mm. So a little bit of butter, and make sure the bottom's really greasy. And oh. on the sides, a little bit of flour onto there. And because it's now sticky, you can just kind of shake it round, oh. like that. It's going to stop our cake mix from sticking, so we can take it out later on. So with that greased and floured, we can move back to our egg and sugar, which mm. is looking pretty good. Stop. There we go. So you want that kind of nice aerated, beginning to get quite soft peaks in there. And look how much volume there is now in comparison yeah. to what we started mm -hmm. with. So now we can add in our flour and very, very carefully fold it in, because you want to keep all that air in there. So gently fold that in, figures of eight. Do you know how to fold, Barry? I do, Jamie. Okay, good. Nice and gentle. Awesome, nicely mm -hmm. combined. If you can now pop it into there and scoop it all out. Now this is going to be the base of our cheesecake. It's a sponge mix as opposed to a biscuit base. I was just saying we're not using a buttery biscuit base. Not in this one. So many cheesecakes we've done and so many of them do have biscuit bases, but this one I think is slightly different yep. because it uses that sponge. I suppose it becomes more of a cheesecake because it's using yeah. a cake rather than a base. Oh. Indeed, indeed. It's much lighter, more spongy. That's perfect. Gently spread it to all the edges so it's Ooh. nice and even. And then Barrett, if you can put that into our oven. I can. That's at 200 degrees Celsius and it needs eight minutes to go golden, light and fluffy, and then we can start the next bit. And after eight minutes in the oven, that's what it's going to look like. Nice and golden, it really puffs up, nice and light. And that is our base to our cheesecake. Ooh. While we let it cool, we can start concentrating on all the other bits. Now this cheesecake, is set with gelatin. So the two gelatin leaves, you can grab those and put them into the water. So just cold water, we need to soak them so they're easier to handle. And then we can start doing all the other bits. All you need to do is whisk together our mascarpone cheese with our icing sugar, carefully so you don't end up in a dust cloud. If you can just mix those together until it's nice and smooth. I'll help ben, out. what's <laughs> happened is that the mascarpone cheese has gone inside the whisk and the icing sugar has stayed in the bowl. If you find it easy, you can use a spoon or add some of your cream mix in there and it should just start okay. to soften it and make it a bit easier for you. Okay. You want it equally and fully combined. All of our cream in there, again, these are set measurements. They have to be so that you've got the right amount of gelatin to cream cheese and cream. But you can get all those details down below. A couple of other flavours to go in there while you carry on whisking, get rid of all the lumps. It's some vanilla and then our gelatin, which will set it. But to dissolve the gelatin, we need to melt it in hot milk. So first, put a bit of milk okay. into our pan. Barry, we're going to make our blackberry bit, OK? And all we need to do is puree up some fresh berries. So bung all the berries in there. Bit of icing sugar in there. And that's it, that's all you need to make our puree. So fresh berries awesome. and icing sugar. You can use any berries you want. Obviously we've gone for blackberries. Now do be careful with blackberry mm -hmm. because it does have a tendency to stain. That's what we want to do is put half of it onto the top of our sponge mix, mm -hmm. okay? So we put a layer of it on there and just spread that round. Nice. And remember our hot milk? Mm -hmm. Now we can take our gelatin, which has soaked and gone all kind of squidgy, Ooh, and melt it in that milk, okay? Having given that a good stir, all of our gelatin has dissolved. So that is gonna go into your mix, Jamie, and you've gotta whisk it in pretty quick because yep. you don't want it to set before you mix it into everything. Oh, right. And meanwhile, we can put the rest of our blackberry puree into a piping bag. And Jamie, put all your mix into there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Give it a wobble so it's nice and even. All you do is take a tiny snip off the bottom of this, and we're gonna make a blackberry swirl, okay? So then we can put it all the way around in kind of a spiral wow. shape and it won't wow. look brilliant yet cool. but the best nice. bit comes when we turn the spiral into a spider's web and we do that really? with a really yep. expensive bit of kit called a cocktail stick and all you need Ooh. to do is swipe it all the way through oh. like that okay and we want it into sixteenths so if you can do the rest yeah there it goes each time in half Ooh. and then each of those in half again and it's a really simple way of making Sweet desserts look quite fancy, quite sophisticated. It's just a spiral, which can be a bit dodgy. You don't have to be particularly good at it, but the stick makes it look awesomely pro. I'm impressed. So there Thank we go. Okay, it needs to set, so it needs to go into the fridge for at least an hour, probably two, so that gelatin has time to set, and then we can show you how to turn it out. 
There we go, all set up. So oh. just a matter of turning it out now, like so. Oh, Look at that, beautifully yeah, set. You can see all of that Lovely. blackberry juice oh. in there. Now we'll just garnish it with a couple of fresh blackberries as well. Yeah. Sprig of mint. Oh. Yeah. And there we go. Oh. Our spider web blackberry cheesecake sorted. Spiral. Swirl. So we'll take a nice slice out of that. Yeah. There Ooh, we go. Jamie size slice. Look at that. Look at that. You've got nice wobble, the gelatin, the sponge underneath. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Now that is a cheesecake, but not mm. as I know it. That's a new experience for me, eh? That is. Now obviously we've gone for a massive big web swirly kind of look, but we'd love to see your pictures on our Facebook page of the shapes you come up with. And don't forget to go to our website, sortedfood.com. Mm.